Hi, I'm Matt Oliver and I'm one of the gardeners here in the Global Growth Veg Garden at Hyde Hall. And today I'm going to talk to you about three different kinds of beans we grow, from the really easy and familiar to the much more tender and exotic and a bit tricky to grow. First up, I'm going to talk to you about runner beans. Runner beans are really easy to grow. They just need a little bit of warmth and a good fertile soil. So if you want to grow them well, you need to start them off end of April to early May. They are frost tender, so you need to plant them out early June, after all risk of frost has gone, and keep them well watered to establish. So we grow two different varieties here. We have the pink flowered Celebration and a white flowered one called White Lady. Now runner beans are climbing plants and they need a good strong frame to grow up and we use good thick hazel poles driven well into the ground here. When it comes to picking them, they should be ready to harvest from sort of end of June through July and into August. You want to pick the beans when they're young, before the seed inside starts to swell and need to pick regularly every couple of days in order to keep them cropping. If you don't pick them regularly then they'll run to seed and they'll become far less productive. Next up we've got lima or butter beans. These are very similar to runner beans but rather than coming from Central America they come from South America and they're a completely different species. It's a Faciolus lunatus and these are always a white flowered variety. We grow two cultivars in the veg garden. We've got Fagiolo du Spagna, which is a large white seeded variety, and another one called Odell Papa, which is skinnier and purple fleckling in the seed. And they're different from runner beans because we're growing them for the seed crop rather than the pod. So we let them run all the way through the summer and harvest them when the seeds have dried out. And we'd use them in soups, stews, casseroles, those kinds of dishes. So they're just as easy to grow in the UK as a runner bean, but they will tolerate hotter, drier conditions and be easier to set through in a warmer UK summer. And for that reason, they might become a crop that becomes easier to grow as climate change begins to affect our UK gardens. So the last crop I want to talk about is a lot more exciting and a lot more exotic, and these are yardlong or asparagus beans, and these have a fantastic botanical name, which is Vigna unguiculata, subspecies sesquipedala. Sesquipedala actually translates from the Latin as half a yard long, so you won't quite get them a full metre in length. They are a lot harder to grow in this country in comparison to the runner beans and the lima beans. And ideally, you need to be growing them under glass where it's consistently warm, but you can get a crop outside in the UK in a good summer. So we've got a couple of different varieties here. We've got the green podded straight species, and then we have a dark red one called Red Noodle. New this year, we have a lilac coloured bean called Chinese Mosaic, and a green purple flecked one called Thai Soldier. When it comes to picking them, they're very similar to climbing French beans. You want to pick them when the bean is young and tender before the seed starts to swell. So you can eat them raw as well as cooked. And if you join us next week, our head chef James will be using them in a delicious meal.